what up welcome back to another video guys um i initially wanted to do this video on the road um but it is super dark outside and it's really cold so you know what i said let me just knock it out in the garage so in today's video we're going to be going over everything that i have planned for my 2015 dyna lowrider ever since i got this bike i've been getting so many questions from everybody they are uh, they want to know what route I'm going with um, obviously if I'm going with something different from my 2020 Lowrider S. So if this is your first time on my channel, this is my 2020 Lowrider S right here. As you can see, I just finished uh, installing this Memphis Shades Del Rey Shield two days ago. That thing looks super super sexy. So as you know, um, I've done a bunch of stuff to this bike, and there's still a ton of more stuff that I still have planned to do to this bike as well. Um, also, if you haven't seen that video, I also got these San Jose Customs risers installed. That review video should be coming up this week as well. I've just been really, really like kind of like pushed back with work, and I actually have like a lot of videos that I've been trying to put out, but I just haven't had the time to do everything. Um, so yeah, that's that's sexy baby right there going back to this bike let's go over the first mod that i have put on already which are these legend suspension revolt a's right here um super super cool um really comfortable i'm still trying to not so trying to, i'm still playing around with them um i haven't really had the time to ride this bike too much um to play around with the suspension so this weekend well tomorrow since uh it's thanksgiving so early happy thanksgiving to everybody i'm gonna be uh ripping around after i install the tbr pipe on there but i want to keep playing with this and playing with the dampener to find the the perfect perfect feel that i want so legend suspension revo a huge huge shout out to uh legends for sending me those out those things are pretty pretty awesome right there so that's the first mod that we did um let, let me just walk over here and just show you guys what i have planned because i'm installing this tomorrow this is the um the steel and steel tbr with the turnout tip super super clean man uh <laughs> look at this this thing is sexy with a black tip right there um and i said that i kind of wanted to keep the bike all chrome but there's a reason why i want to do the stainless steel with the black right here it's all going to come together once you uh go through the video and see exactly what i have planned for the bike so yeah i'm gonna be installing this tomorrow thanksgiving morning this will be my little home project i can't can't wait super excited for that these i ordered as well these are for the uh, real light eliminators um so i'm gonna be taking off the um the rear turn signal so i'm taking this whole housing off and i'm gonna be putting these in right there just to clean up the whole back um we're gonna be eliminating the reflectors from the back fender and the front reflectors as well i got a can of oil right here which we're gonna use to lube some parts for this arlen ness intake man this air cleaner right here super cool i'm gonna show you guys real quick this is the one with the chrome um with the chrome front so we got the uh air cleaner here i kind of wanted that right the the red filter kind of wanted to give it a little red little touch and then with the chrome you can't really see it because there's a plastic over it it doesn't look too shiny but the chrome top right here so that's gonna look really really nice so after i put that uh air cleaner i'm gonna be eliminating this this ugly horrific air cleaner from stock i'm um, gonna be getting rid of that installing that it's gonna look so good now really quick in the back right here i have also installed this custom dynamics uh rear light this thing is super nice smoked um leds of course i'm gonna turn it on real quick so i can show you guys what it looks like so there you go really really nice um this one does not come with the uh, turn signal so i'm just gonna rock out like that like whatever and i'm gonna get a lot of shit for that right now oh this is so dangerous oh, dude whatever like i said i already installed the legend suspension i'm putting the tbr tomorrow i'm putting the arlen s air cleaner the um, custom dynamics light is there um we're getting rid of these we're getting rid of the reflectors i'm gonna get a laid down license plate so the whole back is gonna be nice and cleaned up um the exhaust should come like up to here so it's gonna be a big difference yeah it should come around there so all this is gonna be gone clean up the whole back it's gonna look beautiful now that we're down here let's talk about the wheels so these are nice these chrome spoked wheels but we're gonna get rid of them i want some black mag wheels and this is what i was talking about when i was talking about the exhaust um so i'm gonna have the steel and steel exhaust uh with the chrome air filter obviously the rocker heads are chromed out blacked out 
wheels the tip of that exhaust uh pipe is going to really complement the wheels as well with the black tip we got the black wheels um i'm gonna be switching out the seat as well i'm gonna be doing a saddle man step up seat similar to the one that i have but i have the diamond stitching right here in the back that one's gonna be all plain and for the stitching i'm gonna be doing blue so we got blue in the tank we're gonna have blue on the diamond stitching down here this is gonna be plain um and then that exhaust has a little hints of blues when it really heats up as well. So it's going to complement it as well really good. Um, for the grips, I'm going to do some OD waffle grips in blue as well. So that's going to be blue here, blue there. And I just finished ordering from uh, Boosted Brad some foot pegs also in blue so foot pegs here in blue passenger foot pegs also in blue i ordered both sets so we're gonna have blue here blue stitch in here blue paint here and then the blue od um grips doesn't look really really nice now after that we're gonna be eliminating the brake levers i'm probably gonna be going with um lucky speed shop um chrome shorty trigger levers super super clean and then i'm gonna keep the the stock chrome uh, mirrors as well um these Headlights here, not the headlights, the turn signals. I'm going to keep the housing, chrome, obviously, but change the light bulbs inside. We're going to get some LEDs, probably get them from uh, Custom Dynamics, and uh, smoked as well. So, smoked there. Um, this is, obviously, you guys see me take this off. This is from Harley, so this comes right off right here. Um, so, we're going to be limited in this. I have it on because the last few times that I've used the bike, it's, you know, it's like 40 degrees. So, yeah, helps out a lot with the uh, wind. Lies. Last time I took this bike out, it was like 35 degrees and I was freezing my ass off. Those are all the big cosmetic stuff that I'm going to be doing uh, in the next uh, few weeks or a few months. Um, due to the fact that we're going to be doing a stage one, I got the pipe, I got the air cleaner. I haven't decided what tuner I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm going to go with uh, FP3. I don't know if I'm going to go with a Dino Jet or what, or Screaming Eagle. Like, I still don't know. So if you guys want to give me some advice so anyone out there who has a dyna let me know what worked out better for you if you have used a few different um tuners let me know what you think due to the fact that i'm going to be changing out the wheels obviously the rotors are another thing that i'm going to be changing out so we'll see later on if i'm able to get some um probably stainless steel looking rotors with maybe like hit a blue on it that'd be ideal with the black mag wheels in the back that's gonna look really nice um I'm not sure if I want to do a bunking crash bar like I did this one. I really love that bar, but I kind of want to keep it similar but different. So I might do, um, I don't know who makes this bar. It's that bar that goes up here and comes out on top. So it's like, like that. Um, I might get that bar instead, that crash bar. So it could just be different from this bike. If not, then I'll just get the bunking crash bar. But I kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards the other one. So who makes that? Let me know down below. I'm probably going to be looking into that as well. Um, foot controls as well. Um, I know I ordered the boosted brad foot pegs, but I'm going to be ordering the boosted brad, um, brake, um, uh, brake pedal as well. Um, just like all match up really, really nice. Now, let's talk about risers. Um, I already went ahead and I ordered some risers. I ordered some 6-inch, ready, drum roll, chromed out, thrashing supplies, risers. <laughs> Those things look really, really cool. So I'm going to keep the stock bars for now. I might down the line just change them because they do, it has like an uplift here a bit, but it also have a, uh, like a little curvature, so it kind of bends back a little. So I'm going to try them out first. And I'm going to see how I like it with the um, with the stock bar and with the risers. If I like it, then I'll keep it. If not, then I'll change out the bar later on. But the risers are going to be installed within the next, um, I'm going to say, week or two. I'm going to have Full Rider install them for me. So, yeah. Well, I might do it. We might do it together so I could learn, you know. So, that might be a cool little video. So, tune in for that. Now, let's go. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Um, headlamp. I want to be getting a LED headlamp. I just don't know if I want to go black. I'm most likely going to go black to the fact that I'm going to do the black wheels and black touches here and there. The black seat with the blue stitching. So, I might do a Moose MC. Not the one that I have. Just a different one. Let me just show you real quick in case you haven't seen it. I have this one right here. So, I might do the, the new version that has more of the little lights everywhere. 
um so that one looks pretty cool just in case if i don't do that i might just do the harley davidson daymaker because i like the way it looks and it looks really clean um if you guys have any advice on what uh highlight to go with drop it down below in the comments i'm assuming that everybody's wondering what i'm gonna do with the fairing or windscreen or whatever it is i'm gonna get due to the fact that i've switched out mines like two or three times um i don't know i really don't know i still have this harley davidson fairing right here uh with the dirty dixie um shield on top i thought about maybe putting the fairing oops i thought about putting this fairing with the uh stock um windshield which only comes up to here um and then painted this in white i thought about that because i think i could fit it on there with uh with all the hardware that it comes with that's one option another option is to do a clear del rey like i have on my 2020 lowrider s right there another option is to do the memphis shades gauntlet that one's really nice as well another option is to do the harley davidson quarter fairing the other one that people use a lot in diners and last but not least another option is to go full out on an fxrt fairing um yeah i've, I've kind of been thinking that about about that a lot so it'll be a big fxrt fairing all white and blue um i don't know it's it's an option what, what do you guys think would you guys go that route i've had people who have done it tell me that it's not worth it i've had others tell me that they love it and i've gotten a lot of mixed reviews on the whole ordeal of that fairing because i i've heard a lot of stuff that even after you get it you still got to do a bunch of sanding it's never perfect and then you got to pay this x amount of money to get a painted and blah, blah blah so i don't know i don't know if i want to keep it just simple maybe no fairing just keep it simple take this off keep the risers keep a nice little clean look in the front you know what i mean and um i don't know man I, I might i might just keep it like that nice and simple we'll do the fairings and the windscreens on this bike and this one will just keep very nice and clean very simple now i've also thought about relocating the gauges um have them up here so that's another thought um so that's still in the works as well those that that's probably just for the most part what i have planned to do for the bike as of now i also do want to do some pinstriping as well so this this just looks plain to me the paint job is beautiful but maybe some white and black pinstripes going on the front fender on the rear fender um and we didn't maybe like a black like if i'm gonna do blue and black pinstripes very minimal on both front and back i might just add like a black little pinstripe to go around this just to add you know contrast to it i don't know that that's that's still up in the air as well um but for the most part i want to keep it very clean very very nice looking um <laughs> i love this thing man i cannot wait for tomorrow to put that that tbr on because the way that tbr is going to sound on this twin cam is going to be way different than the tbr that i have on the milwaukee 8 on the 2020 low water s it's going to be a deeper sound on here more throttier more more aggressive you know but yeah, guys, that's everything that I have planned for my 2015 Dyna Lowrider. Um, if you have a Dyna, let me know what type of stuff you've done to your bike. Or if you are in the market and you're getting one, let me know what you have plans to do on your bike as well. Oh, also real quick, if you guys are interested in getting one of these Torque saddlebags, uh, the Torque... Um, bar bag or anything from the torque website there's a 25 percent off right now for black friday weekend from here to december 1st i believe use my promo code mk25 and you receive 25 percent off the whole website torque motorcycle co let's go baby that'll be it guys i hope everyone enjoys their thanksgiving tomorrow um I'm thankful for everything this year. I'm thankful for having these two babies in my garage. I'm thankful for my family, my job, uh, great health that I have. Um, and I'm thankful for the amount of new friends that I've made in this past year as well. Um, and to the new friends and family to come in the future. Um, I'm thankful for my family most of all. Um, they come in first place. And I'm thankful to be alive, man. I'm thankful to have these toys and be able to come on here and share my hobby with you because this is just my hobby. I do this because I just want to share a little bit something of my life with you. Like this, that, that's, this is the main reason why I started this channel in the first place was just, hey, this is, this is, this is what I have and I want to share with you and this is what I'm doing. If you like it, good. If you don't, keep it moving. You feel me? But 
that's it man um if you're new to my channel this is my 2015 dyna lowrider this is my 2020 uh soft tail lowrider s with that being said let the force be with you baby ride safe and enjoy the ride peace